Hello everybody and welcome back uh, to the library of Ruben. Alrighty, I know what you guys are thinking. You're thinking Shadow. Two episodes of Black Souls in a row is simply not enough. We crave a third Black Souls episode. And you know what? I'm a man of the people. If you want me to play more Black Souls, then I'll play more Black Souls. However, uh, there's no more Black Souls mod, so we're kind of out of luck on that. But if there ever is another one, I'll play it for you. But in the meantime, I think that we're going to go after the Old Lion. This parlay was dealt with rather smoothly, all thanks to you, boss. Nothing to be overly thankful about. Being chief of a syndicate as such, it's only right that I step up personally for conflicts such as these. Right on, boss. Without you, I doubt it would have played out as calmly. Especially with your temper. <laughs> Self-control isn't my best aspect, that's for sure. Nevertheless, this case was rather enjoyable. Been a while since I saw bunches riled up a so. They don't know their place is all. Underestimating our... Our prowess. Fools that don't care to do a smidge of research about the history of syndicates are the ones picking fights with everything. That's what it's like being young, isn't it? Sprinting without direction or purpose. Walking wherever their legs lead them. But with but a bag and no map. A journey it is. Well, it matters not now. We're the ones who came out victorious. Indeed, though I'm certainly feeling my age. Taking five days to take care of those green horns. Had I been just twenty years younger, we would have been in and out in less than three hours. My fault, boss. I padded out your bodyguard count too much. They would have been dealt with in a blink if we brought you out first and foremost. No need for such words, Vermouth. Attempting to console it. Consul it me, are you? Uh, I I'm sorry, boss. Such disrespect. Don't fret now. I know you meant well. Just that. Pick your words more carefully. I apologize, boss. Now, I'd rather have a moment to think. Wait outside, will you? Yes, boss. If there's anything that you need, call me any time, sir. How many did we lose this time? Over ten, that's for sure. Maybe over twenty, even. Twenty in five days? Sheesh, the bodies keep piling up. And the fights are just gonna keep rolling in. Boss said he'd find a way to reduce our body count. Nothing much we could do other than wait. Well, if he keeps his spot, that is. His age is catching up to him. <coughs> Didn't you hear what the group leaders were saying? <clears throat> oh, goodness. <clears throat> wow, my throat did not like that uh, change. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's try this again. Didn't you hear what the group leaders were saying? He's slowing down these days. It's always the ones directly under them that notice the fastest. We might suddenly go under without so much as a squeak at this point. You two. You're both supposed to be on patrol. Heck are you doing over here? We... Stuff it with the excuses. Get back to your posts. I won't let you off the hook so easily next time. S sorry, sir. Move! Move! <sighs> so this is how far the boss's image has fallen. You called, sir? Indeed. 
Got a moment. Of course. What's this about, sir? I've got a bit to talk about with you. What do you mean, boss? It's just that I've overheard a bit of banter circulating between the grunts. The... the grunts? N no. All sorts of things there were. But most of them circled back to how... People wanting the old boss dead. Falsehood, sir. No one's foolish enough to challenge the all-piercing javelin himself. Whoever's talking such disgrace, I'll personally... No, no. It's all but true. I feel the age the most myself. By strength waning, dexterity falling, I feel it all too well. I need to keep deeper. <clears throat> Boss... I felt it always, lurking in the back of my consciousness. It's only now that it presents itself fully. During that conflict with those striplings, striplings, mm. 20 years before, there would have been no parley, no quarter given. But as time took its toll, I had to learn to retreat, learn how to negotiate. This situation, this reality, it's all too vivid. Time's still passing as we speak. The time has come. Overdue, even. But... I've been thinking, Burmouth, about how to deal with this position we're in, and I've reached a satisfactory conclusion. Which is... Listen carefully, Vermouth. Yes, boss. From now on, you're the face of our syndicate. I... Boss? Surely you don't mean... No, this is the best option we have to us. Countless years I've spent observing our underlings. And it's with absolutely certainty that I can say you're the most able... A fitting successor to my position. I wouldn't have even bothered to set up a meeting like this if it was nothing but just a passing of a spot. I'm sure you'll be able to far outgrow me. What about you, boss? This syndicate can't be without you. And I've also given some thought. Though a peaceful retirement is alluring, I've made one too many enemies to even dream about such a thing. Perhaps you could stay as our advisor of sorts. Consider it as well. Doesn't fit my medal. I'm not particularly afraid of those after me. It's simply that the battle to bring an end to this lengthy road I've traveled is one I hope to be of significance. Something, a scuffle with some cutthroats after cold hard cash has none of. Her mouth, do you recognize what I have here? That's an invitation to the library, isn't it, boss? Spot on. Appeared on my desk ever since I've decided to leave the syndicate in your hands. It's calling me. None has returned victorious from this place. A battle with an undefeated foe. A fitting final conflict, is it not? Anything the matter, Vermouth? Are you truly set on going, boss? Ha! <laughs> you know my stubbornness more than anybody else, yes? Yes, sir. It's all but a journey, Vermouth. A journey, sir? Indeed. And now, the end of mine has come. Boss! Anything else you must say? It's... Been a prestige and a pleasure serving you, boss. The feeling is mutual, Vermouth. A bit of a special case this time. Something like that's a rare sight. You don't see people like that often. I've heard people change as they age. What do you think of it? It's because of that uh, Graham fellow, yeah? 
Yes, rather curious too, as we've rarely had elderly guests. Yeah, changing is aging. Well, it's really to each their own, but based off the people that I saw, young or old, there isn't much of a difference. People are usually resistant to change is all. And you think so because... Well, as I said, it's more of a personal viewpoint. The oldies I've seen are all doing everything they can to try and keep their positions. But peacefully bringing in a successor of their own volition, it's special. And in more ways than one. Hmm. Their book must be quite the read, then. Probably. And someone who's kept that position until that age probably packs a punch, too. Beware. Beware the ones that grow old in a place where people die young. I forget the exact. <laughs> X-Blade. Ah He's the X-Black Blade Chief now. So, this is the library. Never had much to do with books, yet the place I've decided to call a grave is a library. Life's truly strange. Greetings, dear guest. I am Angela, the director and librarian of my roles. Namesake. So, you're the pale librarian. Greetings here as well. Name's Graham. No need for much talk, is there? Victory is rewarded with a book, and failure results in being converted into one, yes? Correct. Then enter I shall. It looks like you have something to say. Go ahead and let it out. Not in much of a hurry, anyways. Are you truly fine with ending it all here, like this? All of that time and effort spent to nurture a syndicate just to give it all to another, then ending that journey within closed walls. I find it rather hard to understand. Understandable. I can see why. It was no easy decision. A culm culmination of many thoughts over the years. But it's not one that I hold any regret about. I've left it in the hands of one I trust, after all. And you are satisfied with that. No matter how dear you hold something, no matter how important it is to you, it all becomes like this in the end. One day, no matter how distant it may seem, the time comes when you have to give up something important to you. And from that, something begins anew. And don't underestimate me as such, librarian. Nothing guarantees I fail here, does it? Give me your all, for I shall as well. Show me the magnificent battle fit to prove that I've lived a life worth something. May you find your book in this place. And here we go. Graham. Oh, it's a 1v1, really. Okay. Well, let's see. Uh, Spirit of the Beast. At the start of the act, gain one spirit. For every four successful hits, gain one spirit. Whenever emotion level reaches three or five, gain one spirit. Can store up to five spirit at once. Partisan. I think I said that wrong. Pierce dice power plus one. Upon a, success, ugh, a successful pierce attack, inflict one fragile. Um, upon spending spirit through combat pages, give one strength and endurance to all allies next scene. Ugh. Dice power plus one. At the start of each scene, restore one light and draw one page. Immune to immobilization and when HP drops to 50%. Memories of the past. Restore two light, deal stagger. Mountain of corpses, deal five damage. Life after war. Uh, draw one page, inflict one fragile. Crossroad of life and death. If two or more attacks connect, gain one strength next scene. On Clash win twice, restore one light. An end of the road. Only usable at, at plus, only usable at one plus spirit. Uh, on you, spend one spirit. 12 to 24, deal 10 stagger damage to target and four to seven. I mean, if it's a 1v1. 
Are you my opponent? I hope it'll be a duel without regrets. Let's go easy now. Let's not complicate things. What is this? Spirit. Ah, I have the tiger. Gain one counter die. <laughs> oh, you're going to gain a lot of counter die based on spirit, aren't you? Okay. Um, well, alias workshop and book workshop. Yeah, Mook Workshop. We'll take a tiny bit of stagger damage. It'll be fine. Ow. Okay, a couple tricks of my own. All right, Scars for sure, because we want to be reducing damage as much as we can. Three strength permanently engaged. However, he has one strength as well. Okay, let's see. What you got? Uh, we don't have anything for it this time, so... Wheels! And then I th we might be able to get away with old boys, and I'm going to try. Ah, 29 damage. Okay, we take a little bit of damage, but we win the next clash, restoring a tiny bit of light to us. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Real tempted to go for pale hands. I actually think, hang on, I want to reroll. Lies. What you got, old man? Okay, let's see. Sword of Frost is obviously just a really good choice. I'm actually kind of debating Hammer and Nail. Hmm... Sword of Frost might just be... Well, no, but he's immune to immobilization. Uh... Hammer and nail. You know what? Why not? Let's treat ourselves a little bit. Um, Marionette. Yeah. Marionette's just relatively good. Plus, let's not forget we still have Phase 2 to deal with, which he definitely has. End of the road. Um, yeah, that's going to hurt no matter what we do, so let's just tank it. Mm. Ulterior logic. By the way, I was told for the first time ever, this is not ulterior logic. It's atelier logic. Atelier logic. Yeah, I'm going to keep saying ulterior logic. <laughs> Just because I've gone this long saying it. And I intend to keep it. Oh boy. Ow. Looks like you're staggered, old man. And here we go. Um, technically we could do blood. We have a couple defensive dice. Uh, but we're mainly aggressive. Uh, sort of frost. No, 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 no. You know what I want? I want guilt. There it is. Yeah, guilt. Guilt is just always very good. Wrist cutter is a emergency button. I see the end. Oh boy. <laughs> Uh, wow, you got a heck of a power spike, didn't you? Hmm. I'm gonna wait on that. Wheels. Oh, that sucks. It's time for the leer. It's been an honor, old man, but it's time for you to fall. <laughs> no! Oh my god, I cannot believe Risk Cutter killed him. It's because we were doing double damage? No! I was so close to ending it with Furoso. No, no, no. That's
that's so unsatisfying. Uh, I was going to purge all of his stuff. And then I was going to end it with Furoso. No. Oh, I'm so not used to Leer. I almost never take Leer. So I didn't realize. Oh, I didn't even think about it. Oh, that's so unsatisfying, dude. <laughs> the time comes when you have to give up something dear to you. And from that, something begins anew. What do you think about this? Mm, something the old guy said. Because <laughs> it definitely wouldn't be you. <laughs> yes, I was wondering what you thought about it. Uh, to give up something dear. It's a difficult choice for sure in many ways. Too bad it's rarely true. What do you mean? Yeah, for a normal city folk, a choice to give up something or a choice to give something up is exceedingly rare. It just gets taken from them, with or without their consent. And after that, time marches on. Nothing much like a new beginning. That's also true. Though I would be lying if I said I wasn't a bit envious of that Graham fellow. Saying he made a decision with no regrets. Do you think such a circumstance will happen for me, too? <laughs> Probably not anytime soon, but hey, once you finish that one true book and get to venture outside the library, well, then you'll have to make a decision about something. What that would be? Eh, we don't know yet. Hopefully I have the other librarians to help me with then. Now that's unexpected. I thought you were the kind to just deal with it all yourself. Well, opinions are the more the merrier. Yet more is forgotten. Something no longer able to be recalled. What is it? Gone. No longer consciously in reach. I... Good morning, Ma. Uh, Something wrong? You seem disoriented. Uh, g give me a moment. My head's spinning. Are you ill? You don't seem to have a fever. <clears throat> no, I'm, I'm fine. Just woke up after all. Oh, that's a relief. Anything else the matter? Son, uh, what was your name again? Uh, Robert, it, it's Robert. Oh, right. Uh, forgive me, a, a mother forgetting their son's name. It's quite fine, Ma. N nothing to concern yourself about. And mine as well. What, what was my name again? It's Daisy, Ma. Daisy. Right, right. Can't even recall my own. How miserable. Ma, it's truly fine. You're still my mother, no matter what. Thank you, son. Say, do you remember what you used to do? What I used to do? Right. What I used to do. Um. Well. It's fine if you can't recall. It matters not anymore. Either way, I best get going. Duty calls. Hope to be able to have breakfast together, but you go on ahead. I can still feed myself just fine. Sorry, Ma. Work's been getting busy lately. It's quite all right. Don't concern yourself with me now. All right, Ma. I'll, I'll be back soon to fix you dinner. Oh, and one more thing. Who's the fellow that used to visit us a while back? I haven't seen him in a while. Uh, he had things to do around the house, but got a bit tangled up on other matters these days. I see. Thank you. Well, you best be going, yes? Watch out for yourself now. Right. See you soon, Ma. And so, time passed. How much, I couldn't tell. My son came back and we had dinner. 
After dinner, I laid on the bed. The clock ticking away as always. Unable to sleep, I fixated my empty gaze on the ceiling. My bad, man. Just give me until next month. Work's been piling in lately, so I'll have enough for you by then. I could hear him. My son. He didn't sound like he was talking to himself. Perhaps he was on a call. Didn't I not get promoted? Why are you bringing that up? It might have not been, but I'm getting more requests than ever nowadays. The call went on for quite some time. My mother? She's getting worse. She used to be able to remember remember her name until just a few months ago. Can't nowadays. When she wakes up, I have to remind her. I'm fine with her forgetting mine, but hers almost made me cry the first time. She met Pa while doing fixer work, yeah? Can't seem to recall that either. A fixer. It rings a bell. Perhaps. I... No, I I definitely was a fixer. Well, it doesn't really matter. Life goes on. Brain surgery? Of course I looked it up, yeah. But, well, you know, nothing's left in my pockets after paying living expenses. Can't pay the nanny these days either, so she's alone at home while I'm at work. Wish I was as good a... As fixer business as my ma was, would have made us a lot more financially stable. Thanks, man. You're the best. Yeah, good night. Sleep well. I've always felt it in the back of my mind. That after I became like this, my weight was shifted entirely on him. Making excuses. Justifying myself. All while preventing my son from living his own life. Taking his own roads. All I am now. But a withering roadblock. Dragging down my son. Hmm? An invitation? Calling an old decrepit fixer like I. Signing here takes me to the library. At the very least, once I'm off his back, he'll be bearing the weight of one, not two. Good morning, Ma. Ma? The door's locked. Sorry, son. Ma, you all right? Just a moment, the key. Son, you're enough to fend for your own now, aren't you? Ma? What's this about? My signature. Right. My name was... A signature? No! Daisy. Ma? Ma! I... No. Not the sudden. Please, come back. Daisy? Daisy. Sound familiar? Eh, don't know the details, but at least heard of her. She was a pretty well-known fixer. Came up a few times during work. Well, only in passing. She was long retired before I became one. A famous fixer. Well, age took its toll, is all. Way past her prime. And as you saw, she isn't exactly... Well, and that's that, but feels a bit iffy. Receiving an elderly like her. That too, but not exactly our first rodeo. It's more so about that Robert kid. Having his mother vanish right in front of him. I can't imagine what that would feel like. <laughs> I think Roland has a pretty good idea of what that would feel like. <laughs> the library simply provided an invitation. Whether or not she came was of her own volition. Rightio, not really something for us to be debating about. She who left her son and us who's about to receive her. 
That's that, and this is this, I suppose. And this is the library. Right. What would my son be doing now? Uh. No, no. This is no place for such thoughts. Greetings, dear guest. I am Angela, the director and librarian of my roles, namesake. Angela. H hello there, Angela. I am Daisy. I used to work as a fixer. As a, um, fixer. Ha, huh, right. A uh, fixer. Now... What was I here to do again? Once you enter through here, librarians will be waiting to receive you. And... Once you successfully overcome the trial provided, you will be given the books offered in the invitation. And if I am to fail? If you fail, you will be turned into a book yourself. Turned into a book. Anything else? Ah, n nothing. So, I just follow this path? Yes, straight ahead. Thank you, then. Hmm. Say, a moment of your time beforehand, though. Yes, go on. Though, I may forget again. Your son back there. Are you truly fine with this? Hmm? Your choice to leave, without as much as a final talk with your son. Was it truly worth it to come? I... Regardless of how this ends, it can only benefit my son. He would have his own reasons to not want me to leave, and I had my reasons to come. And I know that nothing he could have said would have completely persuaded me not to come. He's my son. Though he may despair for the current, I, I have no doubt that he'll push on. For a fresh soul like his, finally ready to take on the world for himself, I, I would be but a weight. It it's but his right to map out his own life, restricted not by his frail, failing mother. I see. May you find your book in this place. Boy, this one does not feel good, does it? Well, <sighs> you already killed one elderly person, Roland. Time to get another one. <laughs> uh. Memory of the body. At the end of the scene, if the hand is empty, gain body memory next scene. Whenever the character discards all pages, draw one page. I don't know how to say this. Fuet? Restore one light whenever the character discards a page, once per page. One's golden days. Immune to feeble and fragile while in body memory state. Right. Uh, combat mastery and final battle. Nostalgic memory. Discard one page, restore two light. Ronde de Jambe. I think. On use, discard a page with the lowest cost. On hit, restore one light. Cambre. Discard a page with the lowest cost. Uh. Barament frappe. Discard one page. On hit, deal five damage to target, nine to twenty-one. And Prima Ballerina Asaluda. I don't know if I'm saying these correct. Cor correct. <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying these correctly. Correct. Oh my god. Oh, yikes, bro. Only usable while in the body memory state. 18 to 37 on Clash Win. Destroy all of the opponent's dice.
No regrets. Oh boy. You know, you would think there would come a time where uh, I'm not the one having to literally beat up on the elderly, but hey, what are you gonna do? Uh, and we're just gonna take that damage, so alright. Ow. I mean, hey, might not have her mind, but boy oh boy, she still got her strength. Okay, what you got? Um, you know what? A uh, free crystal atelier, and then boom. All right, expensive stuff now. Okay, bit of health restored. Very nice. Um, I might want urging this time, actually. Hmm. You know what? Pulsation. Body memory. At the start of the scene, draw as many pages as possible. All dice gain plus one power for the scene. Lose this status at the end of the scene. Uh, oh boy. That's gonna hurt. Well, try and counter it. And then... Ranga. Did that not do any damage? Or did we just have such high health that it didn't appear to do any damage? I'm not 100% sure about that one. Uh, wrist cutter once again. Okay. Mook. Then I'm gonna do alias, and then we'll go for old boys just to get ourselves going. Taman Frappe. Yeah. Boy, this fight really just <laughs> does not feel very good, dude. Um, Ranga. And then I think we just tank that. Ballerina dance beat Furoso. Unfortunately, it's time to leer. Hey, she beat the Fur Fur uh, Furoso though, but let there be no remorse. fight did not feel good <laughs> that was a depressing fight dude like with the story and then fighting her and it's all about like her body acting on its own on yeah on its own because her mind isn't able to remember god that is that is real depressing and see while it is depressing for me in my life i've been very much graced in that I haven't had anyone have that problem. Um, the only person I did kind of have that problem with is um, my grandpa, actually. And, oh boy, 
This story is going to be emotional. It's kind of a, a near and dear thing to me, even though it's not exact. Um, but my grandpa had a very similar issue. He had a stroke and then, you know, there was a, a blood clot all over him. And um, uh, I went to visit him and he, I was the only one he remembered. So while it isn't, exactly the same thing um you know it is still a little impactful since while i was grateful he remembered me he didn't remember anyone else not my grandma not his kids just me his grandson i had to step away for a few minutes uh <laughs> I, I don't think I've ever told that story before, and while I didn't go in details or anything, that story is very hard for me. Um, so, yeah, we're just we're just gonna continue along. We shall be fine. But um, yeah, that, it's it's a hard story to remember. So, yeah. Um. <clears throat> She put up quite the fight for an elderly, way past her prime. She must have been an extremely competent fixer back in the day. Her mind might have forgotten, but muscle memory doesn't go anywhere. If she was just 20 years younger, sheesh, she would have wrecked havoc. And her reasoning, heading to the library to not drag her son down. Quite hard to understand giving up your own life for another's. For her family, she probably didn't think of him as an another. Probably hard to understand for you, considering how you were, well, created, but... Who knows? Maybe one day you'll find someone you can call family. What about you? Ever had one you would give up your own life for? For me? My wife? It would have been her. Well, she was gone before I could do anything about it, so... Not much else I can say on the matter. Though, if I were to be given another chance, actually able to do something, I would throw myself in. Yeah. How can you be so certain? People, well, humans, can sacrifice a lot to protect something they've... <laughs> Uh, yeah, whatever he's saying, can't understand a word of it. <clears throat> okay, so it seems like translation was not finished. <laughs> ah, that's fine. Um, alrighty. So, let me think. These were two very short receptions, so I think we still have time for some more. Um, maybe a, uh... Another general? Yeah, let's go. Actually, ooh, there is two fixers that I believe we could go fight. Fixer I I had. I don't know how to say name. Heavy armor. Lower all speed values by two. While in armor purge state, ignore the <laughs> the previous effect. Armor purge. If the character discards 15 or more pages during the act, uh enter armor purge state. Porge. Oh! <laughs> While in armor purge state, whenever the character discards page, gain one haste. Waste not. When using a combat page, discard one random page from hand and restore one light. At the end of each scene, if the character discarded a page in the scene, gain one strength and haste next scene. Whoa. Uh, attack mechanisms. At combat start, gain counter dice. 3 to 7, equal to the number of pages discarded in the previous scene, with a maximum of 2. That is really interesting. That is super cool. Um, and then duel. Yeah. Let's go. On use or discard. Discard one page. Draw one page. Restore one light. Faster. Uh, on discard, gain two haste. On clash win, gain one haste. Ready to swing. 
on use, discard two pages with the lowest cost from hand and gain two strength. Next scene, on hit, draw one page. All or nothing. Use this page again on a random enemy for each page in hand up to three times. On use, discard all pages. Not like that. Exhaust this page on discard. Uh, lower the cost of all pages in hand by one. Take this! On discard, exhaust this page. Um, for this scene, every time user will use another page, add dice from this page to the dice queue. 7 to 15, inflict 2 paralysis next scene on hit, and 6 to 8. And chop to pieces. Discard all pages. If there were 5 or more pages in hand, offensive dice on this page gain plus 3. Power. No matter who the opponent is, just beat them up and that's it! <laughs> well, I mean, that's one way to look at it. Let me see. Um, lift the mountain. And then... Multi-slash. Yeah, we'll be fine. Ow. Oh, man. Good thing we did lift the mountain, because she had a lot more dice than it seemed. Ugh. Alright. Alright. Okay. I got you. I got you. Gain power. <laughs> uh. What's up, buddy? I mean, hey, you're the only person here, so I may as well get some power, right? Uh, that's gonna suck. That is going to really suck. Okay. Um. Yeah, this is gonna hurt. Ah! Won the first clash because of the extra three power. Counter die working nicely. I don't know why we had counter die in a regular queue, though. Shockwave, and then we dodge. Excellent! Part two, um, look of the day. Okay. Every little bit counts. Um, tail whisk, and then because I don't think you're gonna be doing much else for the moment, I'm gonna go will of the prescript. Wait for the angry face, there it is. Ah! Uh. <laughs> Blade unlocked. And so it begins. Alertness. So, we have the potential of gaining three power just from clashing. Red eyes, why not? Okay. Uh, can't manifest ego just yet as much as I would like to. Uh, you're out of fuel. You seem to very much be out of fuel. Um, I'm gonna go Venomous Fangs. And then... Let's do Unlock, get this going, and then... Uh, will of the pre-script? Yeah, that should be fine. Get a little bit of resources back just in case there is a phase two. But it looks like this is the end. Oh no, I can't use it yet. <laughs> Dang it. Yeah, we're only at four. Ah, oh well. Well. It's been an honor. This is why I just hate heavy things. <laughs> and Fixer I eyed goes down. Alrighty, and with that, I believe that is going to do it for this episode of the Library of Ruina. Um, might be a little bit of a shorter one compared to a lot of others, but hey, we still got three receptions done. Um, oh, and by the way, uh, with my story I told earlier, um, he, my, my grandpa's been gone a long time, um, but, you know, it, th thinking back on it, it's not pleasant. <laughs> Um, but, you know, you know, it, I don't know, I, I, I don't, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what I want to say, uh, but he's been gone a long time, um, he was very much loved and cared for, and, uh, you know, it's just unfortunate that that kind of thing happens sometimes, and, you know, 
if you guys are going through anything similar, the best thing you can do is, even if they don't remember you, just be there for them. Um, they will still remember that they're loved. They'll still remember that someone was there for them. They, you know, might not remember who at the time, but, you know, it's just one of those things. Anyway, um, <clears throat> I don't want to be super somber, um, you know, <laughs> but it's just, it, it's on my mind. Um, so, you know, I'm naturally going to be a little bit bleh, but, <laughs> you know, that is going to do it for this episode of the Library of Ruin. A bit of a, uh, sadder episode, I suppose, but hey, we went through, what, what episode are we on now? 59? 58 episodes without being upset? There's bound to be at least one in there. <laughs> uh, who knows? The next sad episode will probably be at like episode 200 or something. Based on the based on the way we're going and how often mods still come out. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. This is, going, this is going to be a long series. When I dedicated this series to doing every single mod that I can actually understand. Uh, didn't know it was going to be quite this long. But hey, still got plenty more content to go. And, uh, let me think. There is, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. There is a couple mods I would like to revisit in the future. And then there is also a, and I say this very loosely, a mini series I want to do of Aruna. Um, ugh, where basically we take a gimmick. For example, uh, let's just say cheesed, cheese four. And we have to play with all of the abnormality, all the abnormalities on the floor. We'll, we'll have to get a little creative because there's not necessarily mods for all the abnormalities. But let's just say, um, Evan Co. is the, um, Toto, you know, the, the, the dog, scorpion dog. Well, he can only take scorpion dogs pages uh, or uh, ego thingy you know what I mean he can only take these and he has to be a build that is all about protection strength and basically just getting in the way of enemies meanwhile let's say bong bong is road home well she has to be about dodging focusing um and I want to say haste, but maybe not haste, but like, you know, evading, going after one particular enemy, and she can only take the stuff that, you know, goes with her. And then we always have to take false present and give it to the corresponding characters. Um, let me think. And then, yeah, I don't know. It's just something I thought about. The first time I thought about it, it was going to be with all the magical girls, and chances are we'll do that too. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. When we run out of mods to do, maybe I'll do that. Like a one-off episodes of, can you beat base game Library of Ruina as all of the magical girls? Or, can you beat base game Library of Ruina with, <laughs> with, uh, the Gang of Oz? I don't know. <laughs> You know, just stuff like that. And then maybe to make it more exciting, we'll add like a, uh, a hard mode mod on those just to, you know, spice it up a little bit. But that's for the future when we run out of mods to do. And there are still plenty to do for the moment. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Library of Ruina. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.